Hey, what's up? Nat here, coming up on Newsbreak. A big Olympic announcement. The new Spider-Man movie gets a name. And one ridiculously woolly sheep. But before we get started, why don't you go ahead and hit subscribe. <laughs> the Brisbane Olympics. You like the sound of that? Well, the International Olympic Committee does. It's named Brisbane the preferred choice for the 2032 Olympics. And our resident Queenslander, Leela, is pretty excited. Chris, 2032! Now I can stay with my parents if I train Blake for the next 11 years, we could win bronze at best. Did you say something? Brizzy 2032 isn't locked in just yet, but the International Olympic Committee has said the Aussie city is its top choice. Right now, it's the only city that has moved to the next phase of the selection process. But the race to host isn't over just yet. Run, Blake, run! Now the Queensland Government has 12 months to prove they've got what it takes. And they've got a pretty good case with almost all the venues for the Games already built. If it goes ahead, Brisbane will become the third Aussie city to host an Olympics, after Melbourne in 1956 and Sydney in 2000. It gives every single one of us hope that it puts Brisbane firmly on that international map. It'll be a few months before we know for sure if Brisbane will definitely host. But right now, the Sunshine State has a big lead and the finish line isn't far off. Blake, in 11 years you'll be pretty old and you're not very good at running. Maybe we should just aim to go watch the games in 2032. The new Spider-Man movie finally has a name. Yesterday, the internet was sent into a web of confusion after the three lead actors all posted different titles of the film. Today, it was revealed the names were fake, and it was all a bit of a joke on Tom Holland, who's got a reputation for spoiling things. All right, so? Gave us a fake name again. Again? Okay. Not sure. Yeah. I just don't understand why he keeps doing this. You don't understand? Really? I feel like it's pretty obvious yeah. to spoil things. I don't You're spoil thing. things. Name me one thing that I've actually spoiled. The last. Now, we've all put off getting a haircut before, right? <laughs> well, one sheep from rural Victoria has avoided getting a trim for years, and now his wool's a bit out of control. Here's Joe. This is Barack. And no, he's not fat, just fluffy. Too fluffy. He was found wandering around a forest and was rescued by a sheep sanctuary in Lancefield, Victoria. Sheep like Barak need a haircut about once a year. Otherwise, the fleece just keeps growing. Barak's fleece had grown so much that he couldn't really see. And all up, it weighed more than 35 kilos. A few extra layers and a little bit of hair in the eyes can't be that hard to live with, right? I decided to put it to the test. <laughs> Okay, maybe it is a little tiring. <coughs> Barak is now settling in with the other rescued sheep and enjoying a well-deserved snack. This next segment's for those of you who get a real kick out of seeing animals in their element. It's time for... Yeah, alright, that's a sight. Check out this video that's going viral of about 2,000 porpoising dolphins off the coast of California in the US. That basically means they're stampeding. Did you know that when dolphins do this, it usually means they're in a hurry? Yep, because there's less resistance in air than in water, they can actually travel faster, which is especially handy when trying to outrun a predator or, you know, find food. This is Humphrey. He's the first koala joey to be born at Taronga Zoo in more than a year and he's just made his first public appearance. So little Humphrey was born all the way back in May or June but because these guys are marsupials, all of his developing happens in that pouch. So we've only just seen him in the last two weeks. Now that you're out of your mum's pouch, welcome to the big old world, little guy. And finally, here's a little seal that was apprehended by police in Canada. Take him away, boys. 
Nah, just kidding. It's just getting a lift. The little fella was found roaming the streets and police decided to drop it home near a body of water. And we'll catch you later as well. In the meantime, you can hit subscribe and we'll be back again tomorrow. See ya.